This is English 5, Quarter 1, Module 2. Inferring the meaning of compound words using context clues. First, let us get to know the meaning of a compound word. A compound word is formed when two words are combined to make a new word. Let us study the examples given. Sun plus flower, they become sunflower. The two words mean differently, but when combined, they make a new word with a different meaning. Another example is arm plus chair. When combined, they become armchair. Arm is a part of our body and chair is a piece of furniture for sitting and when combined, they make a new word which is armchair with a different meaning. Other examples of compound words are classroom and laptop. Since our topic is inferring the meaning of unfamiliar words using context clues, let us also break down the ways on how to do it. Context clue is some kind of information given in the sentence to help you figure out the meaning of the unfamiliar word. There are some ways to do it. You can look for synonyms of the words in the sentences. Example in this sentence, The lottery prize was so enormous that people really wanted to win that big amount of money. The unfamiliar word here is enormous, and by trying to look for the synonym of it, you would understand that the word big is similar to the word enormous. This would make you understand that enormous means big. Another way is search for antonyms. For example, in this sentence, the weather during Christmas season is chilling, unlike the hot weather in summer. Hot weather in summer gives you the idea that chilling means cold because the situation gives you clues of the opposite ideas. You can also refer to the definitions given. For example, our sentence is, Wildlife refers to all plants and animals such as birds, reptiles, and mammals which live in their particular habitats far away from harm people may cause. The word wildlife here is defined and by that you would know the meaning of it. Descriptions are also given in the sentences to make you understand the unfamiliar words. Example in this sentence, I felt ecstatic to have received such good news and the joyous feeling made my day so happy. The word ecstatic is described in the situation expressed in the sentence with clues of joyous feeling and happy. Lastly, it is also useful to check on the examples given. Like in the sentence, toilsome jobs are farming, fishing, and doing construction works. The examples of jobs such as farming, fishing, and construction works require strength and hard work. Therefore, you would understand that toilsome involves hard and tedious work. Now that we are done understanding compound words and inferring meaning through the use of context clues, let us try the following activity. Let us identify the compound words in each sentence that are synonyms or similar in meanings. The first sentence, the girls were halfway up the tree and when the flood water hit it midway, they held on as tightly as they could. What are the compound words in this sentence that are synonyms? The answer is halfway and midway, since half is synonym to the prefix mid. Reaching the hill crest, they saw the destruction made by the busted dam, including the trees and plants on the other hilltop. What are the compound words in this sentence that are synonyms? The answer is hill crest and hilltop. The two words have very clear similarity. 
They both start with hill. Let us try another activity using context clues. Select the correct synonym of the highlighted compound word in the same sentence. Our first sentence is, You've got a new wristwatch, which is similar to my two-year-old timepiece. What do you think is synonym to the word wristwatch? The answer is timepiece. The second sentence is, the clock hands and numerals are luminous or light emitting, for they glow even in darkest place. What is synonym to the word light emitting? The answer is luminous. The third sentence is, the schedule of flights to the south is as tight as the timetable of sea trips. What is the synonym of the word schedule? The answer is timetable. Our fifth sentence is, Celebrating a fiesta is a time-honored Filipino tradition that dates back as a long-established Spanish culture centuries ago. What is the synonym of the word time-honored? The answer is long-established. Another additional topic we have here is the three types of compound words. Compound words can be closed, open, or hyphenated. A closed compound word is written as one word. An open compound word is written with space between words. A hyphenated compound word is connected by a hyphen. Examples of closed compound words are seaplane, raincoats, newspapers. Examples of open compound words are time zone, home port, mother tongue, hot dogs. As you can see, they are written in two separate words. Examples of hyphenated compound words are son-in-law, passers-by, and name-calling. These words are connected by a hyphen. To make sure you are writing the compound words correctly, you can check them on different sources such as the dictionary or the internet. This is again English 5, Quarter 1, Module 2. I hope you have learned something and you are ready to answer the activities in your English module. I hope you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.